Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Elu Ret Law with 402 rating versus Anonymous Ant with 668 ratings. So this is going to be another DB match, and then hopping right in, we're going to see Ant win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first. 40 versus 44. Opening hands, we got Phoenix Blade, Connector, Ash Blossom, Owl Mace, Museum. They have Valor, Brow, Gen, Talons, and Pur Lily. So normal summon Gen, Effect, Chain Ash Blossom. Go Talons, draw Sleepy Talons. And then go Sleepy, discard Brow, bring out Pur Lily. And then, you know, Brow Chain Link 1, Pur Lily Chain Link 2. So go ahead and search. And yeah, we just see them emit the feet here. Um, I actually wish I could go back like two seconds and see exactly what engine they had in hand. Um, but going on to the next game now, we're going to see the Infernoble deck go first. We got Heritage of the Chalice, Connector, Valor, Museum, Snake Eye. They have Ken, Street, Rota, Valor, Gen. Wow, keeping in a lot of the package into going second. You know, could have sided out some of it, but we also, I mean, we see the Rota in the deck with the Ken in the Gen. Um... Maybe they sided down on it some, but decided to keep Rota in since it can search the better one in this scenario. Which, I mean, is usually just Gen because you want Ken on their field. But normal connector, get hit with Valor, activate Museum, Museum Effect, pay 1,200. Go ahead and search out Durendal, activate Durendal, Durendal Effect, go search Fire Flint Lady, and then Special Summon Fire Flint Lady. Um, I said, how'd you summon Lady its effect? Declare your effects, please. Okay, sure. Like, technically, yes, they need to declare Fire Flint Lady effect. A sold effect on summon, search Red Lair. A sold effect, go ahead, dump three. And then bring out Aqua Dolphin. Uh, Aqua Dolphin, discard Red Lair to look at their hand. And then they're going to rip the gen out of the hand, burn him for 500. Heritage of the Chalice, search Ogier. They said it's full combo. Yeah, it's full combo. They're pretty much just saying, like, just scoop now, just save time. But bring out the Ricardito. And then activate Ricardito effect, special back out the Fire Flint Lady. Fire Flint Lady tribute, bring out Ogier, Ogier effect, dump Turpin, and then go up into Angelica, Angelica effect, search museum, and then activate Turpin effect to equip, chain Angelica to summon and dump, dump Oliver, summon out Captain Roland, and then Ogier effect to equip, museum to summon. Use those to make Emperor Charles. Okay. Uh, Captain Roland effect to equip. And then use those to go into Emperor Charles the Great. And then effect to equip. Yeah, I accidentally equipped the wrong one. Uh, then they're going to go museum over museum. They pause the game. They said, how did you equip Roland? It's effect. Roland. Whose effect? Once per turn, please return Roland to graveyard. Yes, and I haven't used it. Well, they did use it. Yeah, they used Rolling Effect on Charles and then linked off, and now they're going to use this effect to equip, um, but they accidentally equipped the wrong one. So equip, and they paused the game again. They said, why is Charles in your spawn trap zone? They copy and pasted the effect, meant to click it instead of Rolling. Nope, you clearly communicated that you attempted to use Rolling Effect. Ooh. What? Well, they went... Angelica, Ogier, Museum, Infernal Captain Knight Roland. Okay. Technically, they didn't declare this on summon when they have declared the other stuff. But, you know, they can't equip Roland. Obviously, they meant to equip this. I feel like. Um, said the opportunity to use the on summon trigger has passed. No, I used Roland before. Charles goes to graveyard, please. And then they resume. I thought you were talking about earlier in the combo. I did declare everything correctly. Well, I don't think they declared this. Unless they didn't. So that was the one that they had, like, you know, quote unquote messed up on. Because they had summoned it. Oh my gosh, there's too much text. Okay, what time was that? 5.54. So let's go to 5 minutes, 54 seconds to when they summoned it. So they sent to the graveyard, special summoned, and then placed the one from the 
from the graveyard to the spawn trap zone. I'm pretty sure, like, a judge would say, like, oh, you know, they're special, they viewed the graveyard, they equipped. You know, I'm pretty sure a judge would say that was, like, you know, the obvious attempt. Um, not that, but, okay, so... They're calling judge, said calling for cheating. They copy and paste the log, so it's right there in the logs. I declared the link two, link one. They didn't declare the link one. All they did was special it, but it's fine, it's fine. Said that's it, you did not declare a link one. You only decided to do so after I told you Roland was already used. Okay, then uh, the way it works, illegal play, it's a warning. Yeah, they acts like they declared the effect, they went to go ahead and equip. They accidentally equip the wrong one, you know what I mean? They get a warning, and then you keep going, that's it. Um, but they got a judge, oh, it's Nash, hi Nash, and then it said, hello, opponent summoned Emperor, and then equipped Roland, when I asked how Roland was equipped, they said by its effect, and then I told them, uh, they already used it, so they changed their play to use Emperor trigger effect on summon. What? Okay, why would you even want to equip Captain Roland to this? It's obviously just like, oh, I equipped the wrong synchro. Simple as that. But they're really trying here. Um, they said, how did you equip Roland? They said, it's effect. Who's Roland? Well, I think, uh, you know, if you go back and look at that sure, that's like out of context, though, because... How did you equip Roland? Did you mean how did you equip Roland right now? How did you equip Roland before? Because they obviously thought that you meant before because they thought they had Charles in their spawn trap zone. Um, how can the Link 1 equip the Roland? So that I've misclicked and clicked Roland instead of Charles meant to equip the only legal target the Link 1 has. Also wasn't Roland used already for standard combo? Yes. So if Roland was already used, we're trying to get the link one, it equips, it said so it was illegal, correct. You get a warning and rewind, so the game state proceed from the last illegal action, correct. Which was the res of Emperor summon. No, it wouldn't be at the res of Emperor summon. So synchro, Charles is in grave. What? Oh, well, okay, 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 okay. Because technically, you summon Link 1, you declare the effect, you target Emperor Charles, and then they equip the wrong thing. Like, just go back. It's such a simple fix. Um, so, Synchro Charles is in grave. He has to choose a legal target. So, it's the effect of the Link 1. He did not use the Link 1. Being activated, I did. He only did so after I told him Roland was already used. It's communicated by me trying to equip a synchro. It seems like he is using it. It's a pretty obvious misclick. Yes, after they realizing they misplayed. It's like, what? This is not, or this is normal combo. Yes, yeah, is fairly normal. Like, this whole, like, interaction here is normal. How is it a misplay if Link won? They said ELU, or you know, ret law, uh, do what I said and equip illegal target. This is my final ruling. Uh, they said can't, or can literally only equip the level 9. The effect is on summon, they chose not to use it, and use rolling effect to equip. I will appeal you, I will deny the appeal, and we will proceed from here. National line people to, so, okay, since always. Good job, Judge. This is literally a cookie cutter combo. Warning for UC Minor to Anom. Proceed. Go back to advertising your bad stream on posts that nobody wants to watch. I don't even know what that means. But okay, okay. They, they messed up their English there, obviously. Um, yes, we all know you have a fragile ego. Okay, well, it seems like the person that is, you know, trash-talking over DB may actually be the one with the fragile ego over Nesh here. But, I'm also biased. Um, but, sure, I don't know why they're so mad over this. Like, it's, like, obvious, right? Wouldn't you rather have your opponent play correctly over playing incorrectly? Like, wouldn't you want them to have the extra interruption here? Like, 
I don't know, it's just testing, really, right? But, I mean, sure, you can try. I said second one, second warning for UC Minor. Back-to-back, -back, gave them a game loss. I mean, you can't talk trash to judges. Like, I don't even know why people do that. Like, imagine if there were actually no judges on DB. Like, I know it feels like it now. But imagine if there actually were zero judges on DB. Like, imagine. That'd be horrible. Like, stop hating on the judges. Okay, sometimes it's okay to give judges hate, but, like, not there. You know, if they're ruling your stuff wrong, then, I don't know. I, like, I, I don't know. It's not hard. So, it's okay, Nush. Uh, proceed from here. Eventually, you will be happy with your life, too. Oh, my gosh. The person playing Jen Ken Pearlie is not talking like this right now. But, okay. And going on to the next game... We're going to go ahead and see Pearly go first. Opening hands, we got Museum, Ash, Durendal, DDR, Crow. They have Pretty, Pearlily, Valor, Jen, and Sleepy. So, normal Jen effect. Chain Ash Blossom. Activate Sleepy. Discard Pearlily. Go summon out Pearlily. And then Pearlily effect. Go search out my friend Pearly. Uh, activate my friend Pearly, effect pay 500 to go ahead and reveal three copies of Street. Okay, this is not the correct order to do things in. Um, activate Street, activate Pearlily effect. Like, I don't get it. So, are we trying to set up Street to make it so that way our Pearly Noir can't get hit with Imperm or something? Is that why we wanted to set that up? so fast like you dodge imperm you literally have the play through it and they would have imperm per lily or they would have imperm gen like okay i feel like that play was very weird they played in the dd crow extremely hard and it's a card you have to think about it's not like a oh a random tech choice like a lot of people are playing it so they crowed and now they're trying to activate spell chain noir they said dd crow sleepy it resolved too bad. There's actually no shot. They went... Let's see. Declared per Lily effect. They went special new wars. So, obviously that means they're targeting Sleepy. They went, I will DD Crow. They said it resolved too bad. That is crazy. Before it had even resolved, they discarded Crow. And they said, ah, too late. It's actually just too late. So they're going to try to set the trap card, try to gang the thousand, try to keep playing, and now they call a judge because obviously the opponent is... Now they're just trying to cheat, like blatantly cheat by saying it resolved too... And they misplayed! How are you going to cheat and still misplay? Like, okay, 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 okay. Couple things, couple things here, couple things. One, one, if we want to, we could discard Valor, go for Pearly, Pearly effect, try to hit boof like boost up our new war um buff it up and then make sp um also they forgot end phase field spell effect to attach sleepy also they should have activated per lily effect before activating the my friend pearly see if the sleepy gets to go through attach see if that is all good fine and dandy or you could activate my friend pearly pay 500 but you would search something different if you wanted to do it before. So you, you definitely just go per Lily effect first. Try to see if they have Crow or not. Um, said, I don't know what's worse. You trying to shark out of nothing. Um, form report for cheating and stalling. And then they left. Okay. Okay. But... It's actually crazy that that was only 17 minutes long, including a judge call. Like, usually it takes a while for a judge to get on. Um, but okay, so that was the match. And then here was a text right after the match. So this is what, you know, E. Lou J. Rhett Law had sent to the opponent, um, you know, after the match. You know, a, class, a classic little free, you know, I do the same thing. Um... A little toxic, but it is what it is. Said money match me, 20 euros, illegal action equals game loss. Okay. Or do you need cheats to win? Hop on call, see him. We will money match with middleman. Or on Facebook, let's do it right now. Yeah, so you can get a friend of yours. Or are you whack? 
They said join. Okay, we will hop in a Discord call together. That's what I thought. They said you owe me twenty dollars. If you want to have another match, pay your debt. So this this right here, we'll hop in a Discord call together. This right here it must be the split where this match happened. So now we got you know them playing against each other again, and then Rhett Law said. I sent to a middleman, or send to middleman. They said, choose. Uh, we can send the Nesh. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's actually crazy. Imagine having Nesh rule against you. You talk trash against them, and then you send your money to them as a middleman. I probably, yeah, probably wouldn't even accept them as a middleman, but 30 seconds to choose, 30 seconds to give a middleman. Yeah. Oh, they said choose, like... Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, so they're trying to play without a middleman. Oh, weird. Weird, yeah, trying to play without a middleman. Yeah, weird. They said, you from Europe. No wonder you were free. Match loss for stalling. You owe me 20 bucks. That's so crazy. But, hey, people, th this, that is literally, like, one of the big reasons, like, why Coliseum is even a thing today. Is like, if people trash talk each other on DB... They need a place to play for money. You go to Coliseum. You get a middleman. You know, nobody gets scammed. Because otherwise, guess what? Imagine if Rhett Law didn't have a middleman. They play this match. No middleman. They win the match. The opponent doesn't pay. Even worse, though, let's say they lose the match and they pay. Then only they, they did a wager, but only they had money up. Because the opponent just never had an intention to pay. Um... So, you know, asking the middle, asking the money match, asking to do all that, and then deciding not to do it, you know what I mean? I feel like that's just whack, right? Like, t asking them, literally, you asked them to money match, and then they said, yeah, I'm down to do it, and then you try to scam? Like, not using the middleman? Like, that sounds crazy, I don't know, I don't know, like... Uh, this person's weird. Like, they literally cheated, too. Like, I kind of see what they had to say against their opponent. Like, sure. But then, like, you know, they didn't have to trash talk in the call while saying that. And then, on top of that, like, they literally just straight up cheated in game three of that match. Like, straight up cheated. Like, blatantly. Like, oh, too late to activate Crow. It has already resolved. While it hasn't even resolved yet, you know, trying to abuse the DB judge system or something, um, hoping that the opponent doesn't call a judge because it'll take too long. You know, that's a classic John Jones strategy right there. But, um, yeah, that is going to be it for this video now. And, yeah, that's where this ends. I'm guessing right here, right at this part where it says that's what I thought. It's probably right after they left. And it says, you owe me $20. If you want to have another match, pay your debt. Keep the 20 and buy some meds for your mental problems. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't get why this person was so mad. And, like, I don't even know why they left the game here. It's not like it was necessarily over. Well, I guess it kind of... No, it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, ah, ooh. 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 It's kind of tough. But... Oh, because Trap wasn't on field. We had Per Lily. We get hit with Crow. They messed up too bad. They played in the Crow so hard. That's on them. They played into it really hard. I mean, you can assume that Infernal Bull players don't have it, but there's literally no reason to not use Per Lily first before trying to do your other play. Uh, but all right. That's going to be it for the video. I know there's a little bit everywhere. Um... That was crazy. That was crazy. Especially especially the end. Like this? Like this was actually crazy. I wish that this would have kept going. I wish that they wouldn't have said, Oh, I'm going to report you to the forums for cheating and stalling. When obviously they knew that they were cheating. Otherwise they wouldn't have left the game right afterwards. Um, so honestly, if they, if they do a form report, they might end up getting themselves banned. Like literally might end up getting themselves banned. But all right, all right, all right. That's going to be it for the video. With all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.